check out how chicken has grown in size, 1957, 1978, to 2005. Look at this. And this thread explains why from our buddy Brett. The U.S. is obsessed with chicken. We eat 26 billion pounds of chicken. We spend almost 30 billion on broiler chickens to eat. We have an inventory of 518 million chickens, and the average American eats 65 pounds of chicken alone. However, the chicken today we eat is very different from the ones our grandparents ate growing up. Modern chicken is notorious for being dry, bland, and flavorless. You typically need to fry it, overly season it, or marinate it in sauces and dressings to increase the flavor. Contrast this to the 1960s when chicken was considered a delicacy. Famed Julie Child had this to say about chicken. Chicken should be a so good. So good in itself that it is an absolute delight to eat as perfectly plain butter, roe, saute, or grill. How do we end up with these fattened, flavorless birds that are dirty and pumped with hormones? Enter the chicken of tomorrow contest. In 1948, the average chicken cost was $3, which $30 per bird adjusted for inflation. Wildly expensive. During World War II, red meat was rationed. Americans doubled the amount of chicken they ate as a result. So after the war, the natural poultry director was worried that the increased demand for chicken would decrease the AMP's poultry sales would come crashing down. Pierce ingeniously discovered a solution to his chicken issue. He decided to have AMP sponsor the Chicken of Tomorrow contest. The contest challenged competitors nationally to grow the fattest chickens in the shortest amount of time. AMP, the country's largest supermarket at the time, saw that this contest could do two things for them. It could create a cost-efficient bird for future production and be a genius PR stunt. As you saw in my first tweet, the chickens of the early 1900s were vastly different birds than the chickens today. The average broiler chicken in the 1940s was around 3 pounds, and it took a few months to get to that size. The rules for the contest were simple. Each contestant raised their special breed of chicken for 12 weeks. The birds were then slaughtered and judged. The judges' key metrics were size, skin, width of breast, and average weight. Not taste. There were two breeds that dominated the competition. Arbor Acres, White Rocks, White Feathered Birds flourished in the purebred category, and then Red Cornish Crosses from the Vontress Hatchery outperformed all in size, width, and height. These were bred with some other ones, and then they dominate the chicken we eat today. They're basically the chicken we eat today. That's what they've become. And so we're still eating chicken tomorrow and have continued to get even more efficient at creating the chicken product. The average chicken broiler grows in 35 days, half the time of the fastest chicken in 1948. Our birds are also much fatter, averaging 6.5 pounds. Our chickens are now so fat that they waddle when they walk. They have short legs and massive breasts that impair the mobility of the bird. We have created genetically modified frankenbirds that are created to get as fat as possible. In addition to this, we are basically eating gigantic baby birds. For centuries, it's been known that a mature adult bird is what creates the best flavor. In the early 1900s, chickens would be sold around four months. <laughs> Oh, man. Do I even need to go on? And, of course, this is very much fueled by the lipid hypothesis nonsense, Ansel Keys, and him blaming saturated fat and red meat for cancer and all this shit, complete and utter lies. Chicken is not a health food. Chicken is actually an inflammatory food. For lean protein, for simple, yeah, sure, it's great. But the bulk of your diet should be fatty, nutrient-dense whole animal parts as much as you can. This is steak, this is ribeye, this is wild caught fish, this is sardines, this is salmon, this is shellfish, etc. Not basically nutrient poor, nearly lifeless antibiotic stuffed white meat like this in Turkey. Turkey's even worse, more bland, more flavorless. It's just it's not a it's not health food. Like and if you think it is, like you've been tricked.